uh, Bill Carter and Fred Kruger of From Vinyl Productions here at the Opera House in downtown Toronto. Uh, we'll be visiting with Nash the Slash and Gary Newman tonight. Hello, I'm Gary Newman and you're from Vinyl. Bill Carter and Fred Kruger from From Vinyl Productions. We're in Toronto at the Opera House with Gary Newman, who will be reuniting with, uh, what's his name? Nash the Slash. There's been a few interviews with you and Nash the Slash, wondering when did you very when did you hear from him? Like the very first time, how did you get to know him, or how did that come about? Uh, I'd would come here. I can't remember if it was '79 or 1980 now, actually. But um, we we come here to do the first ever. Uh, North American tour after uh, Pleasure Principal album was, was released and um, we were doing a little bit of um, extra rehearsal here so we was here for a few days before the tour started and we just went out one night um, just just to go and hang out you know and uh, we went into a club and Nash was Nash was playing and I, mean, I had no idea who he was but I, I, I was so blown away by what he did I, I did a really bad thing actually I, I, I cancelled the support band that we had for the whole tour there and then and, and and got Nash to do it so you know it was good for me and for me and Nash because I think it really made a difference to the tour it really added something special to it but not quite so cool for the people I got rid of and I, I always felt really bad about that actually but yeah, I just Nash was a much much better choice for that tour who was the do you remember who the original uh, artist was no I can't no. remember now maybe that's a good thing <laughs> okay who <laughs> knows I, I hate doing things like that. It's really, it's unprofessional and it's and it's unkind, and uh, and I really felt, I did feel bad about it. I genuinely did. I sort of laughed now because it's thirty years ago, but I really did feel bad when I did it. But you know, as I say, Nash was such a unique thing. It, it was just perfect, absolutely perfect, and I loved him. He's a really lovely person, and what he was doing was was just so unusual. I've never seen anything like it. It was perfect what we were doing. So you actually had to come to Canada to discover Nash rather than his music being played over in the UK which small clubs and what have you you had to actually come to discover him. Yeah yeah I never I never heard of him at all. But I never heard of him when I got here either. It wasn't as if there was posters all over Toronto saying he was playing. We just went into a club because the club looked quite cool from the outside and and there he was on stage as we walked in. And uh, it, you know it's quite a striking thing to see, isn't it? <laughs> when you're just used to looking at bands, you know. Now that was you and your father that went to the club, was it? Was no, it? No, no? Me, me and the band went went to the club. Yeah. Um, so now we advance. Uh, of course, you've worked with Gary. I mean, worked with Gary. Worked with uh, Nash so much. Uh, in when you started with the '81 um, tour, right? That was the that no, was we that tour. Wembley. We did some shows in in uh, Wembley. Which is at the time I thought was going to be the end of me. You know, it was me just just saying goodbye because I hadn't I hadn't really taken to it too well the whole um, pop star thing. Uh, but but yeah, we got Nash over to play at those shows as well, which is really really good. I'm not sure if I might have done another tour in the UK before that even uh, the 1980 tour. Uh, it's all becoming a bit of a blur actually. I'm afraid as time's gone on. Well, I know it definitely got him back for the Wembley shows, and it, again it made a massive contribution to those shows as well. Oh, that's very nice. So obviously we're excited to see this happen again tonight because it's a 30 year, oh, about 30 years plus uh, anniversary of, of working with Nash on stage, right? Yeah, well, it's, the reason I'm here is the 30th anniversary of the Pleasure Prince will coming out. Yeah, but that coincides with the fact that it's 30 years since I met Nash as well. How did Nash get hooked up for this particular gig? Uh, I, I, I'm actually not entirely sure how it came about, this, this one. Um, I, I know a while ago somebody said somebody said to me that, that, that Nash was 
still here and was doing it and was up for doing a gig. So f- from my point of view, there's there's no question about you know whether he should do it or not. It's an obvious choice to do it. It would still be my first choice to uh, to, to tour with anywhere. Uh, yeah, I'm going to ask you about uh, one of our favorite uh, musicians as well. Um, Jeff Lynn. Do you have any comments on Jeff Lynn? I don't even know who Jeff Lynn is. Electric Light Orchestra. Jesus Christ, that's a, that's. I was about four. Oh. How, oh. how long ago is Electric Light Orchestra? 1970s and 1980s. <laughs> now, man. <laughs> I have no opinion about Jeff Lynne okay. whatsoever. Uh, uh, is he your friend then? Yeah, we. Is he? Yeah. Oh, I'm really sorry. I, I uh, electric okay. electric light orchestra is just okay. just I remember the name. That's about it. Don't remember that. I was I was into T Rex and David Bowie. You know, I'm not really into it. and Sex Pistols and shit like that. You know, really How about the Tubes? You familiar with the Tubes? Uh, I, I, again, by name only. Was that? Who was a singer in that? Fee Way Bill. Fee Bill. Met him once. Yeah. Long, long time ago. Met him right. once, and he was just uh, larger than life and scary. Cave on from Cave on TV, and uh, I'm from Cave on TV, but I'm also from vinyl. <laughs> 